you're not lazy. You're not undisciplined. Your brain is just running the wrong operating system. Because focus is not about trying harder. It's about entering the right neurochemical sequence. And once you understand that sequence, flow state becomes repeatable, on command, like muscle memory. The flow formula, this is the core. Flow state happens when four conditions align. One, clear goal. Two, immediate feedback. Three, high stakes, but safe. Four, zero external novelty. Miss even one, and flow collapses. Let's break each one like a scientist, but explain it like a friend. Level one, clarity, your brain hates vague goals. Your brain cannot enter flow if it doesn't know. What does winning look like? I'll study math. I'll work on my project. Your brain hears that and goes, cool, but when do we stop? Flow ready goal format. Action plus quantity plus time. Examples. Solve seven physics problems in 25 minutes. Write 300 words, no editing. Code until this function works. Clarity reduces prefrontal cortex noise, which frees resources for deep focus. Less thinking about what more thinking about doing. Level 2. Difficulty engineering. This is where most people fail. Flow exists in a narrow band. Too easy. Boredom. Too hard. Stress. Neuroscience finding. Flow occurs when task difficulty is just above your current skill. Not 50% harder. Not destroy your soul harder. Just enough to make your brain say, oh, this matters. Translation. Flow equals fighting enemies one level above you. So do this. Break big tasks into micro challenges. Each task should feel slightly uncomfortable. Discomfort equals dopamine release. Comfort equals dopamine death. Level 3. Feedback loops, why studying feels boring. Flow needs instant feedback. Athletes get it. Gamers get it. Musicians get it. Students. Delayed results. Vague progress. No win signal. So your brain disengages. Fix this. Create artificial feedback. Examples. After each question, check immediately. Use a progress bar. Physically cross tasks off. Use timers as rounds. Feedback tells your brain, we're making progress. Stay locked. Level 4. Novelty elimination. This is non-negotiable. Your brain has limited dopamine. Every notification steals it. Every tab leaks it. Every song change resets focus. Flow state requires dopamine conservation. Rule. One task. One screen. One sound. Phone equals out of reach. Tabs equals closed. Environment equals boring on purpose. Boredom is the gateway to immersion. Flow entry sequence. Step-by-step -step activation. This is how elites enter flow intentionally. Step 1. The two-minute ignition. Promise only two minutes. This bypasses the brain's threat system. Motivation comes after movement. Step 2. Time blocks, 25 to 45 minutes maximum. Flow usually activates after 10 to 15 minutes. That's why quitting early kills it. Stay long enough for chemistry to shift. Step 3. Body stillness. Flow loves physical stillness. Sit upright, feet grounded. Minimal fidgeting. Less body noise equals more brain bandwidth. Advanced sound strategy. Best for flow. Brown noise. Deep focus. Pink noise. Reading. One instrumental loop. Why it works. The brain stops scanning the environment. Attention turns inward. Lyrics hijack language centers. Avoid them. Chemistry hacks. Legal safe science. Before flow, light movement, two to three minutes. Water, deep nasal breathing, slow exhale. This increases. Oxygen, norepinephrine, alert calmness. Your brain becomes quiet but sharp. Exit strategy. 
This makes flow return faster. Never stop when exhausted. Stop when. Progress is visible. Energy is still there. This builds dopamine anticipation. Your brain remembers. That felt good. Let's do it again. Flow killers avoid these. Multitasking. Perfectionism, mid-task. Checking answers too late. Waiting to feel motivated. Flow rewards momentum, not emotion. Flow is not rare talent. It's engineered clarity, controlled difficulty, protected dopamine, repeated rituals. You don't need more willpower. You need a better setup. Fix the system, and focus becomes automatic.